All right, this is the second video for uh, the EPS Excel case. And in this part, we already calculated the basic weighted average shares. So uh, all we're gonna do here is figure out the dividend adjustment and then put it all together. It shouldn't take very long. So let's follow the steps. Let me clean this up a little bit and format first. All right, I feel better. Uh, now that I centered those. Complete the current year's uh, current year preferred dividend calculation. So accumulation, excuse me. So the accumulation is the maximum amount that they can get. So it's the number of shares times the par value times the dividend percent. So the par value times the dividend percent tells you how much per share and then you multiply that times the number of shares and then you get the year's accumulation. So the current year's a possible, maximum possible dividend. Doesn't mean they got it. It just means this is the most they can get. So we're going to calculate that. Uh, let's see. The number of shares outstanding, 4 million, 100 par, 4%. So 4 million, 100, and 4%. So the current year's accumulation, it's $4. It looks like it's going to be, for 4 million shares, it looks like it's going to be. 16 million, but we'll just let Excel do it for us. There it is, 16 million. Now, the current year actual preferred dividend. Um, so, you have to take into consideration um, the dividend declaration and the accumulation, and they're going to get the lower of that amount, okay? So this is how much did the preferred shareholders actually get? Because for the dividend adjustment, preferred dividend adjustment for EPS, uh, we need to know both pieces of information and then we also need to know whether it's cumulative or non-cumulative because the EPS adjustment for preferred dividends does not always equal how much they actually got. I'll explain in a minute if you don't already know where I'm going. All right, so I'm gonna open this up a little bit. So you can see my face over there. I'm sure you've been missing that. Current year actual preferred dividend. So it's gonna be the minimum of this or the amount declared, 12 million. So they only declared 12. They were entitled to 16, so the entire amount went to the preferred stockholders, all right? Now we have to look at our assumption. Let's see, it's non-cumulative. So if it's non-cumulative, then it's the actual amount that we got. If it were cumulative, we don't care about the declaration. But for this Excel worksheet, you can have both of them here. But I will tell you, I'm digressing a little bit from sticking to the Excel thing, but um, just so you're aware when you have to do these problems in a CP exam or my exams. The easiest one is to have it cumulative because if it's cumulative, ignore the declaration. If it's cumulative, it's always going to be the current year's accumulation. So um, just know that the declaration, when you have cumulative preferred, it's just going to mess you up. So ignore it. When it's non-cumulative, then you need to calculate this number. So we're really in an either or situation. If it's uh, cumulative, it's 16 million. If it's non-cumulative, it's the 12. So that's what you have to put a formula in this cell to test whether it's a cumulative or non-cumulative. If it's cumulative this, if it's non-cumulative that. So equal if this assumption equals one, comma, Whoa, what's happening? If the assumption equals one, then what I want it to do is, so if it's cumulative, we only care about the current year's accumulation. If it's not otherwise of zero, then we'll pick this one. What? should be 16. Why is it not working? If assumption B3 equals one. Oh, I picked. I had zero. Okay, I'm doing the right thing. 
So it's non-cumulative and it should be 12 million. And then the amount attributable to common shareholders is the 60 million net income less the preferred dividend. And that's gonna equal your numerator and your denominator you calculated in the prior video. It's your basic EPS and putting it all together, 48 million divided by 22 million, 66,067. So it looks like in this case, it's $2.18. So that's part one of your earnings per share project. Um, there's gonna be a com team component to this and a group component, I should say, and then also meeting in MS Teams to get practice with that. Regardless, the part two will be diluted EPS um, to follow later.